hello guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we're going to redesign trust wallet we're just going to make some little update and at the end of the day we're going to have this prototype here if you notice for this our section here the user can actually scroll and once they get to the top here this is actually stuck to the top and uh, when you scroll down you have all the view back if you're new to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button. With this tutorial, you can actually modify this and add it to your portfolio. So without taking much of your time, let's jump into it. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the Figma UI tree. If you're yet to receive this update, don't worry, I'll link a video in the description below to show you how you can pull this update in less than two minutes so that you can follow along with this tutorial. If you're new to my channel, you can kindly hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. To get started, I have a screenshot directly taken from my mobile phone. This is a screenshot of Trust Wallet and currently this is how the app looks. If we're redesigning any app, the aim is to improve usability. And then for redesigns, you don't automatically just change everything at once. So for this update, if I am to redesign this for Trust Wallet, what I will be taking out here first is this search bar. I'm going to completely take that off. And then for this section here, I will still maintain this, but with some little adjustment. And this other section, we can actually make some little tweak and then to just make the items, you know, look closely related here. I don't like that this item here is separated from this. We can just put everything here in a square box. And for this menu here, we only have crypto and then NFTs. And uh, you have to now start searching for your item or you click here before you can see items. But here we can improve the usability by showing the user options like the top 10 trading coin at that instance. That's the top gainers and then the top losers. So this can influence the user in making decisions like trying to purchase a coin. And then we can also give them options for their favorite coin or their watch list. So now to get started, I'm going to click on the frame here. Now I will be using the iPhone 14 and 15 Pro. So once I have this, the next thing is to quickly change the background of this. So here, I won't be using this dark color, which um, I believe is one of the things I will be changing. So I'm going to be using 161616 here. It's a little bit close to this, but um, this I feel is better. So the next thing is to click on assets here and uh, let's search for status bar. So now, once you search for this, you can just drag this second one here and then drop this here. So now we can align this to center and set that to top. So for this to match whatever we are doing, I'm going to click on this icon here. Make sure you're selecting the status bar and uh, I'll make sure that this is set to dark. But uh, you see, we have some issues here. This background doesn't blend with this. So to actually balance everything i'm going to select this and scroll to the top you will see background and uh, check that off and we have a transparent background which is going to match or blend with our background so the next thing is to fix our layout grid so now select your whole frame and uh, i'm going to add a layout grid here so this time i'm going to set this to columns and uh, for this columns, I'm going to set the count to 14. Now the margin is going to be 16 and uh, gutters, I will set that to 16 as well. Now we can close this. The next thing is to add our ruler to our project. So to add your ruler, click on the Figma icon here and uh, we can have a view. Make sure that the ruler is checked. So somewhere here behind this, you can drag this and uh, drop this here. So I'm going to zoom in so we can see this properly, drag and make sure it's snapping to this. 
so now let's do this for this other section come back in here and uh, i'll just drag and drop this here so let me zoom in and drop this here so now i can select this and uh, hide this our item so we have our screen and uh, this is ready for the design so let's start with the first section here now i need an icon the text here and uh, this icon here but this is actually the home page and uh, i don't need to tell the user okay home page again or home so now i'm going to press t here and we will be more creative like welcome back so the next thing i'm going to adjust the size to 12 and instead of medium regular i'll set this to medium and uh, next thing here we can actually play with the color here and uh, since it's dark i don't want to use the pure white color here so we can go fb 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 here so we have this and uh, the next thing here let's play with the line height as well instead of 22 i can automatically set that to auto so now press t here and i'm going to add wallet or main wallet so i'm going to show you where this is coming from so here we have our main wallet here so but because of the redesign i'm not actually going to put this back in here so i'm going to put this somewhere here with this so this time i'm going to adjust this to 10 and uh, medium i'm going to set this to regular so we have this as well so we can change this to fb 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 here so we have our items so now we need to indicate to the user that okay you can have multiple wallets like they did here so it means we need to add some icons to our project and everything we are going to be adding is directly going to be coming from Iconify. To achieve that, I'm going to use this icon here and uh, click on plugins. Then we can search for Iconify. So now if you type Iconify here, you will get this result here. Click this and so let's wait for this to open. So now you can search for drop down. So the first item I'll use, I think for this, I will use this drop down here for this redesign. And then we can search for settings. So grab this and uh, we can grab any of the settings here. So I'm going to use this one here. And the uh, next thing here, we can search for coin. And uh, let's check if we have between this and this i'm going to pick this here then for this other section we have this copy so we can search for copy here scroll down till we get this i'm going to drag and drop this then we have scan i'm going to grab this and drop this here we have bell that's too big but we can always resize that so bell as well we can just drag this and drop this here so that's also big and uh, we have i here so we can search for i minus slash like this so i minus slash um good we can just pick this and drop this here so now we have all the icons we need for the first uh draft so i'm going to select this let me undo this drag this here so let's resize this items here once you select this item click this lock sign here and uh, make sure that this is 24. i'll do the same for this lock this and uh, make sure that this is 24 as well and uh, this here as well 24 but i need to lock this first so 24 here yeah. okay looking at this this looks a little bit bigger and the other so here 24 as well and uh, i will just want to believe that everything here is 24 right now i just want to highlight all the icons here and uh, use this three dots and uh, create multiple components so one easy way to arrange this item i'll press shift a to put them in an auto layout so make sure they are facing horizontally and uh, i can drag this somewhere to just cover this last one 
and your best bet if you don't want to maintain the auto layout let's click this and uh, try to align this items to center i can use this icon here and you see automatically it just changed to a frame so now let's utilize these icons in our design so the first thing we need to use is the drop down so i'm going to select this make sure you're closing this item you will see local assets now drag this and drop this somewhere here i'm going to bring this close to this item here and um, i can actually select this and resize this to a smaller 16. So don't forget our color we use i'm going straight to the selection color fv 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 and uh we have this sorry fv 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 here so now i have this here so now i can select these two items press shift a to put them in an auto layout and you see you can align that to the center here which i will prefer so once we have this we can now select item one and two press shift a to put them in an auto layout and make sure that they are aligned towards the center so here and the spacing between them looks fine by me let me just adjust that to zero and then this looks even better so now here we can add our icon here so i'm going to drag this and then drop this here i want to use a gray color for this so i'm going to try seven zero seven a and then eight a like this and um, I think I will go with this color here. And uh, for our icon here, I'm just going to grab our coin. So I'll grab this and drop this here. So one thing I also need to grab here, I want to maintain the same color with this, that's um, this item here. I just want to select this here. So I actually want to add the search bar here, but to actually achieve that, I will have to reduce this to 20 so now i can search for an icon here again which is going to be search and then i'll just drag this and drop this here so this i will as well make sure that okay it's 24 by 24 and uh, make sure we're converting that to a component i'll just drag that somewhere here and then drop this here might be interfering with this but if i should come back in here and uh let's drag this item here drag this here and uh, the selection color i'll select this and then i'll also pick this here so we have this and uh, make sure that this is size 20 because we want this to item one and item two shift a to put them in an auto layout okay we have our first group then we can hold shift select this and then hold shift to select this now shift a to put them in an auto layout i'm going to drag this so make sure it's touching the end here the same thing with this here make sure that this is also touching the edge here and then the spacing between them make sure that you're changing that to auto instead of a number and the alignment make sure that this is aligned to the top so here we have the search bar we have the settings let's work on this section of the app we're completely removing the search bar so to do that i'm going to start with a text i'll press t on my keyboard and uh, this is going to be your balance now we can set this to 12 pixels and uh, we can um, adjust this here and the next thing i want to add is the balance so i'll press t again on my keyboard and uh, we can use 5432.01 5, so I'm going to add the currency here, which is a dollar. So this, I'm going to change this to 24. That's the size of this. I just drag it and bring it somewhere here. Now for the balance, we want to be able to toggle this on and off, but we're not going to do the prototype here. So I'll drag this and uh, drop this somewhere here. So for this, I'm going to make this size here 16 by 16. And uh, we need to add some colors here so that we don't keep changing the colors. So I'm going to click on the empty space and uh, now let's just add some styles and this is going to be colors. Now for my icons, colors, here I'm just going to set that to here C8, C8, C8. So I can create this style here. Then we can add another color here. So this is going to be a 
BG light. So I'm going to set this to 1E, e, 1E, e, 2-0 here. So let's see. Okay, that's great. That's our BG light. Then we can add our success color here. Success. So I can set that to 48FF. And then we can use 91 for this. Then I will create a danger color. So this is going to be danger. So for the danger, I'm just going to use F, F, 5, 6, and then 5, 5. Let's see. Okay, great. Then the last color here, I'll just set white. Yeah, and uh, for our white, I'm going to use F, B, F, B, F, B here. That's for the white. I'll create this. So if we need any other color, I'll just add that here. So now this one, two, three items here, we just want to set that to white. So for this, once you select the icon, go to selection color, don't use the fill, please. Click this and uh, let's set that to our white color. The same with this two, I'll select them instead of this white. We just want to use FB and FB and FB. So I'm going to select these two items here. Press Shift A to put them in an auto layout. Make sure that this is aligned to the center. And the spacing between them here, let's reduce that to four. And then we have this item as well. So for this, you can always make sure that the line height here, it's auto, that's for this. So I'm going to select these two items. Shift A to put them in an auto layout. And um, you can make sure that the alignment of this is center. That's for the text. And uh, double click for this other one as well. Make sure that this is center. So now we can select this and uh, reduce the space in between them here. I'll set that down to four. So now I have this balance here. So we need to create um, this other section. So for this section, I'm going to use a frame for this. So I'll press letter F on my keyboard, hold shift and uh, drag this to create this. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this to 24 by 24. Now for the fill here, we're going to use our BG light. And for our corner radius, we can use two here. Then we need to add the icons. So I'm going to grab this copy here. Make sure you're clicking assets drag this and uh, drop it somewhere here for this to work properly you make sure we're resizing our icon to 16 by 16. so now i'll just click and then drag this somewhere here so now i can click on file and make sure that this is inside this frame is it inside the frame let's see it's actually not so i'm going to select this Control x select this and then paste it inside this frame here so now it's inside if i should align this here this should be aligned to center. Okay, we have this. Then let's change the color of this. Remember, we created a color. So let's go to our selection color and icon color here. But uh, let me detach this and see. I'm using C8, C8, C8 for this. So I'll undo that. And uh, I think I'm okay with that color for the icon color. Now we can select this frame and rename it to icon then convert this to a component now we only have one property for this so i can select this and uh, click this three dot here and create an instance swap property called icon so if you press enter we have this and uh, if i select this you see we have that property created so now let's come back to our design here to add these three icons here so go to assets and uh, I'm going to drag this icon and drop this here. So for this color here, doesn't sit great with me. So we might have to make some adjustments here. So I will just, um, for now, let's go back here and uh, change this color here instead of this. I will want to, let's try our white color here. I think I prefer the white. So I'll come back here and uh, Mm, this is preferable so i will select this command d i'll just drag this d again command d we have this if you're on windows is going to be control d so we have the second icon here it's scan so we can look for scan here then the third item here is bell 
So I'll use the bell here. So we have our three items. Hold shift and select each of this item. Press shift A to put them in an auto layout. Now make sure the space in between them is 12. Click on this item and then drag them somewhere here. So we have our first section here. And the balance here, we can just tweak that a little. So if I'm reducing this, I can make this semi bold. Don't worry about that. You can double click here to make sure that this is a line here. And uh, we can just change this font size a little to let's say somewhere 20 since I'm increasing this to bold. So now we have this. Now select item one and hold shift and select the second item. Press shift A to put these two items inside an auto layout. And uh, I'm going to drag this to this end. And uh, I will do the same thing for this. Okay, this is properly aligned. In case you are having something different here, you make sure that the space in between them is auto, not a fixed number. If I use this here, you know, this is a fixed number. So by the time you use auto, it's just going to align this automatically. Now we are done with this other section here and we've made the adjustment. These colors here at the top, we're still going to work on that. So let's work on this section here. Now the whole idea is to make sure that this send and then this other icon is inside one box. So we're going to be using a square for that. I'm going to press F to create a frame, hold shift to create this square. This square, I'm going to set that to 56 by 56. So that's the size of our square. Now I'm going to add a stroke to this. So for the stroke, I'm going to use 232323 for this. And then the fill, we're going to use our BG light for that. Then we need to add some corner radius here. We can go as far as 8 or 4. But 8 might look too much here, so let's stick to 4. Then we need to add some icons in here. Zoom into this so that we can see all the icons here. So I'm going to click on the resources icon here, then go to plugin. Now we should have Iconify with our searching. I'm going to click this and uh, what I'm going to look for here is if we can have TD, T design, arrow, let's say down and see if we get anything here. Okay, so I'm going to fix that spelling arrow. So T design arrow up. So we have this T design arrow. So now we're going to use this other one here again. So I've used this, that's why I know the icon package. So the next thing I'm going to search for, it's the ATM card. So I'll grab this and uh, drop this here. And then we need the, okay, we have the ATM card, then we need bank. And uh, we are going to use this bank here. That's this one here. So I will just drag this and uh, drop this somewhere here. So the last thing on our list is history. So I will search for history. And uh, we can pick any of this. So let's scroll down if we have other options. So I'm going to pick this and drop here. So we have um, all the icons we need now. So let's just make some adjustments in terms of the size. So for this, it looks smaller. So let's make sure that this is 20 by 20. So the same thing for all these other items here. I'll make sure that the size is all 20 by 20. And uh, I'll do the same thing for this here. So let's just lock that. So we need to convert all these items into a component. So we can use the option here. Click on these three dots, create multiple components. And uh, we can just drag them somewhere here and then drop them. We're going to arrange everything here once we're done with this project. So I'm going to close this and uh, for this, we can now add those items. So the first one is the send. So I'll drag this and drop this here. So for this, we can use our, so go to selection color and use our white color for this. Now press letter T on your keyboard and uh, we can have the text send here. So this looks too big. Yes, we're going to change this to 10. And then I can as well change that to regular instead of semi-bold. 
so we have sent now hold this click shift and select this other item press shift a to put them in an auto layout make sure that these two items are aligned to center under the next thing is to check the space in between them i can set that to four so now if i should come in here and so drop this here you see we have this our item here and then if the spacing looks too much for you we can even go down to two here so we can position them to center and also align them to center here since this is a frame that's the parent so right now i will double click and say this is action let's say button we can call that cta so once we have this we can convert that to a component and create some properties the first property here will be the text here so double click to when you're selecting this and now where we have this we're going to click this and then create the title property then i'm going to select the icon scroll to the top where we have this here i'm going to select this and create an instance swap which is going to be our icon so we can now come back to our design here and then add all of these features here so we have our action button drag this from the assets panel make sure you are on the asset section here now i'm going to drag this and uh, drop this somewhere here and uh, we can command d to duplicate that and uh, once you do that you can do that three times so now we have five items here so the next thing here i'm going to change that to receive so go back to the top here we might have some issues here but don't worry we are going to fix that in no time so we have this issue with this text so we are going to come back in here and uh, select this so don't worry about this because um we might still have some problem again which is this so don't worry our uh, main issue is the text here so once we have this double click to make sure you're selecting the text inside and uh, instead of fill we're going to change that to hug so now if you come back here you see this has been solved here as well then we can change the icon so select this again go to where we have the icon and uh, this should be facing down then the next item here is going to be buy so i'm going to change this to buy and then we can change the icon here to card and uh, this might not be okay but uh, we can use that so the next one is sell so we can use the bank here and the last one is history and uh, we can use the history icon here so you see we have this section so let's select every item here i'll highlight press shift a to put them in an auto layout and uh, we can drag this make sure that this is aligned to this so i'm going to zoom in okay i'll do the same thing here make sure this is aligned properly yes it is make sure that the spacing between them it's auto not a value so now we have our second section so we're almost rounding up let's create this column here but we're going to make some adjustment here as well so now i'm going to create a component for that so i'll do this outside here i'll press t on my keyboard for text and uh, it's going to be your crypto so now press shift a to put this in an auto layout and uh, we can adjust this here and uh, make sure this is six here that's and then top and bottom is as well six so once we have this we can decide to change the color of this so mine here is 10 px regular which is fine by me and uh, we need to change the color to our white so we want to add an indicator here to show that an item is active or not so to do that i'm going to create a rectangle so press r on your keyboard just do this somewhere here like this and uh, what we need to do is to change the feel of this to success and uh, to hide okay is great and uh, this i will set that to two as well so we can drag this rectangle and then drop it somewhere inside this section here but make sure that our direction you select the frame 
the direction it's down like this this is how we want it to be but now this you can select this press up on your keyboard this is how we want it to be and the space in between them we're going to reduce that here to let's say somewhere six let's see four is too close so six it's fine by me so once we have this we can now create another form of this that's a variant but to create a variant we make sure that this item has been converted to a component now select this i'm going to name this okay menu item okay we can just say nav tab or tab so now we can just create a component out of this then use this icon here to create a variant so for the variant this year we're just going to reduce the opacity of this so we can select this here opacity we can set that to zero so now we have our item so double click here once you select this your crypto use this icon here to select matching layers and uh, we can create a property for that so this your crypto this is going to be title here now we can arrange our items here so let's go to nav tab i'll drag this and drop this here so we have your crypto command d i'll just drag this here to create another one so this is going to be nfts nfts here then here the variation for this is the second variant so you can rename them so um you don't just get variants like me so here i will change this to top gainers and uh, i will command d we can have top losers and uh, the next one is we can add maybe a watch list watch list here so um i think this uh items here they are five they are great so press shift a to put them in an auto layout drag this and uh this is great let's do the same for this okay this is great as well so let's make sure that the space in between them it's auto and uh, we have this uh, navigation here we are going to end up wrapping this because uh we're going to add some prototyping here so we're going to wrap this inside a frame so to do that right click and then we can wrap this in a frame so let's frame selection this is already in a frame so if i drag this here and i do this again here you see we have our frame somewhere here so you can select this item and uh, you can align it because it's inside a frame if you don't understand what we just did here if i select this now and uh, let's try to feel this there is a bigger frame holding this now so for this bigger frame the color is white so we just need to change that to our bg light so you see we have this color here but i'm um, sorry i'm not using the bg light i want to maintain the same color with the background so i'm going to select this item click on this and uh, select the background color just um to make the user not know that there is any color here so that when we're prototyping it's going to be easy then the next thing is to create this other section here so for this section i will start with the frame so i'll press f on my keyboard hold shift drag this here and uh, so this frame here i'm going to make that 38 by 38 by 38 and uh we are going to make sure that this is half of that eight so let's just use 20 here we have this rounded section then i'll bring this here so because this is what we're trying to recreate so here i don't think we need much modification for this and uh i'm going to press t on my keyboard i'll add btc and uh this i'm going to make sure that this is 12 and then medium 12 and i'm going to set this to medium and uh we're good so the down part here okay let's work on this other item here so i'm going to press letter t here this is going to be bitcoin so now here i'm going to adjust the size of this back to 10 px and uh it's going to be regular and uh we can press shift a to put that in an auto layout and uh 
let's just add a fill to this so the fill for this is going to be our bg light now let's reduce this item space in here so this let's try four and the top as well let's do four here and see four looks too big for top and bottom so i'm going to do this now we can adjust that again so let's see how one looks right so for the corner radius i'm going to select this and set that to two so we have this here so for this uh, item here um i think it's looking big and uh, it's distracting this here so we have to go back to something as small as eight let's see six here this is supposed to be a pack here to indicate the blockchain so i'm going to select this instead of white i'm going with our uh, white here so here we set the size of this now it's here four by four i'm going to reduce this to two so we have this so now if you look at our text here it doesn't look well aligned here this is coming from the line height and this is like a, a, a tutorial on its own so but for now we can just use values between six and uh, let's see eight to see if we can just align that here okay so i think six looks great for this so it's manageable so i'm going to select this item here and uh this other item here we can press shift a to put them in an auto layout and uh this looks great here now i can align this item here and we're going to work on the spacing as well but let's add the price here now i'm going to use letter now i'm going to press letter t on my keyboard and uh, i can add a dollar sign here so let's say this is 64,000. Let's see some values. Point, let's say some values again here. So for this, I'm going to use 10 px for this here, and uh, it's going to be regular. And then we can bring this here. So we need to add another text again to show if this is actually going up or going down. So I'm going to press letter T here, and uh, I'm going to add let's see plus let's see 1.32 so this value it's affected because we changed the line height so i'm going to change this back to auto here and uh, for this i'll do the same thing back to auto so i'm selecting these two items press shift a and uh, we have this two items so for this here we need to change the color so i'm going to use success for this we're going to create a variant for this so now we have this and then this here so i'm going to select these two items and uh, let's just make sure i'm selecting everything frame 17 and uh, frame 18 shift a to put them in an auto layout but before we continue let's look at the alignment of this text okay this is aligned to left and i'll do the same thing for this it's also aligned to left this is where to check that so here this looks okay but uh if we can adjust the space in here between these two items that will be great so two looks fine so i'm going to select this item one and item two press shift a to put them in an auto layout let me drag them out here and uh, we have something like this so we need to work on this two section here and uh let's see okay space in eight here now for the next item i'm going to press letter t here and i'm going to add the balance that this user is having so let's say this is the balance that this user is having so mostly they are indexed with four values at the end here so here we can use 10px regular that's fine then i will have to add another text here t and uh, this is going to be the value of what this user is having so let's say we're using 2000 with some values here and uh point let's say here now so this is the section i'm going to resize this to 8px and uh instead of this i will just use medium for this here and uh we have this item one and item two press shift a to put them in an auto layout but make sure that this is aligned to the left okay that's fine but let's select this and check the text alignment so this is going to be aligned to right the same with this here make sure that it's aligned towards the right here 
So um, this is great. Select item one and item two. Press shift A to put them in an auto layout. And uh, we have this our item here. So the next thing is to create properties and variants. So let's drag this to this section. I'm going to zoom in so we can see what I'm trying to do here. Since I don't know the exact weights for this, I'm just going to drag this to touch this and we're going to remove this from here. I'll do the same thing here. And then we can change the spacing between them to auto here. So now that we have this here, um, I think we just need to do one thing here. I'm going to select this item and then add spacing at the top and at the bottom here. So here we can set this to a say eight here. And uh, this is good. Um, this is fine by me. And we can drag this outside here since we just use this to measure how we want our item to be. Here, I can select this. You can change that to any of the colors here. So let me just pick this here. For each of the uh, coin we're adding, we're going to change that to the respective color. So let's create some properties here. Select this and uh, let's frame this. So here it's going to be icon list or crypto list list or coin list this, that makes more sense so coin then list here so for this item here i can select this and uh, make sure we're giving this all the properties we need so here the only thing missing here is the icon for the coin but let's add the properties quickly before we get a hold of that so here the first thing here we're going to add is the coin name so coin name and uh, here for this it's going to be the blockchain so select this create a new property this is going to be the block chain here and uh, this is going to be the price so I'm going to select this, create property. This is going to be price and uh, select this as well. This is going to be growth. So this growth can be negative or positive growth. And uh, we can come here and uh, this is quantity on QT owned and uh, amount own so we can do the same thing here amount owned so we have all, all the properties here so the next thing is to um look for some crypto icons and uh add them here so we can go to iconify again and uh, do the same thing if we can get at least five that would be good so let's search for bitcoin so we can actually pick this but uh, let's go with this since we already have a background for that so i'm going to look for eth that's ethereum so i'll pick this icon here i will look for trust wallet twt here okay that's trust wallet coin so which other coin we can look for dodge i'm going to use the letter d here and uh, we can search for BNB. BNB here. I can just drag this and drop this here. We even have two options. We can use this or this. So um, let's just stick to this five icons here. So we don't uh, spend much time adjusting this. So for all these icons we have here, that's icon one here. Just make sure that everything is size 24 by 24 here. 24 and uh, this is not 24. So I'm going to log this and uh, set this to 24 that's for the dodge here so i'm going to highlight over all these items let's create um multiple components for this so we have our multiple components here so i can come in here for the first thing i want to do is to add just one of those coin here so i'll just drag this b and uh, drop it in here so for this b i want to change the color back to our white so but you can use white color this time and uh, just try to adjust this to the center and we can now create a property for this since it's inside our component so double click on this item let's come back here 
click on this three dots and we can create an insta swap so it's going to be coin logo so now we have this completed so i'm going to select this here and then create a variant for this so this is going to be when we have okay let's say losing so this is going to be state so we have losing hold oh, this we can just see this is gaining something like this so the only difference here is where we have the success color you can scroll down get selection color you can click this where you have the success we change that to danger here danger so after changing this to red um one thing we need to do is to double click as well and let's add percentage here so um, I'm not playing with this value here because if you change this to a negative number, it's definitely going to affect this other item. Once you select this item here, you notice um, we just have some break here. So instead of this, we can just select this item here and uh, also use the matching layers. And uh, let's say this should just hug the content instead hug content. So it just covers everything here. So we don't have any break. So I'll do the same thing. You see, we have everything properly here. So I'm going to come back in here and uh, drag this coin list. I'll drag it and drop it here. So let's see how this is going to look. Okay, so we have this and uh, we have this. So Command D, I'll just drag this and drop this here. So I'm just going to do this multiple times. Here. I'll do that again and again. So we can select this. Let's first of all change this to as a losing and uh, the icon here. Let's see, we can look for Ethereum here. And uh, this is going to need some work. And uh, we can even change the blockchain here to Ethereum. So here we can use Ethereum for that. And uh, let's also do the same thing for this. We're going to change the background color as well. So let's change the token here. Here we have BNB. So this the coin name is going to be BNB here. And uh, for the Ethereum here, this is going to be ETH, not this. So we have BNB and uh, for the blockchain here, we can use BNB Bacon Chain here. So um, we have that, we can change the price as well if you want to change any of this. And uh, we can change the icon. So for this here, we also, we can have our trust wallet. So here we can change this to the coin TWT here, trust wallet coin. So this is another blockchain called BNB smart chain here. And um, that's great. So we can change the icon for this. That's from this to this. The next one here is the Dodge coin. So the coin name here, this is Dodge. And uh, the next thing we want to do here is to change that. Okay, this is also a smart chain. So I will just select this, copy this here, select this Dodge coin. It's on smart chain here. And uh, what else? Um, that's fine. So we need to change most of these colors here. So for the Dodge, let's change the icon. I'm going to click on token and uh, let's look for dodge here so we have dodge so for the trust wallet let's go to ethereum here i'm going to select this icon precisely um check where we have the this and uh, i'll change that to white and uh you know where we have this okay we can use our uh, white actually so it just matches everything here white so for this we are going to uh okay i've made some mistakes here so let's change this to dark so we can change this yellow background here so this can be white here like this just to create that difference so for this color for bnb i can just make that a little bit yellowish let's go somewhere here and let's see okay let me just use i on my keyboard and try to pick the colors here this is going to save time so now for the trust wallet again this we can maintain the blue color and uh, let's see if we have that here trust wallet so i'm going to use this blue and uh, okay 
this is manageable but uh, the whole goal here is to change this to white that's the background here that's this blue we can change that to white here and then the icon here we can change that to this blue i'm going to use a selection color detach this here and the change that to blue which is this blue here so let's see how this is looking i have this looking better so for the dot here i can select this this color here i'll press i let me just manage or pick this color borrow this color from this here this one here i'll borrow this color that's for dodge and uh, we can uh, leave this to white like this so now that we have these items i'm just going to select one two three four five press shift a to put them in an auto layout i will just discard these other ones here so from here i can just command d here then try to push this to the bottom I'll do the same thing for this command D try to push that to the bottom for BTC command D I'll just push that to the bottom here as well and uh, our trust wallet command D here let's just push this somewhere here to make sure um, we just give them different looks so you can take your time to try to just align these items so the next thing is to create our navigation bar so I'm going to use the frame as well and now drag this and uh, drop this somewhere here so for this year after adding this i need to add a fill here here um we can use one b one b and one c here okay uh let's see just making sure that okay that uh stand out from this so i'm going to select this and then add a stroke for this the stroke this time is only going to be at the top and uh we can use our two three two three two three I think we've used this earlier for those items there so here we have this section but there is an issue somewhere here i have some items that we did not select when i was adding them to auto layout so i'm just going to drag this outside and uh, just take this off and i can bring this frame back here so let me just align this here and uh, i will still align that here now let's try to preview this on an actual device so hold shift command and then press the space bar or you can use shift control and then the space bar on windows now you see we have these are items here and uh, we can actually make some little adjustment here like the spacing between these items now i'm going to select this group here and to make sure that the spacing between each of this item is four so we can continue with our design now this our design it's actually coming out nicely so we can close this and uh, let's actually just duplicate this command d so i'm going to select this press the down arrow on my keyboard and we're going to make sure that this menu item right click we're going to bring this to front so this is going to be underneath that personally i don't have issues with um these icons here if we can get them i will gladly use them but uh right now i don't think we can find this in iconify so we're just going to make do with the available icons so click on the resources icon go to plugins and i'm going to use iconify so i'm going to search for re home here and uh let's see okay i have this i'm going to use this for the home icon so this um it's because i've used this before that's why i know the package name then here we can search for swap i'm going to go to the second screen here and uh, i'll grab this and drop this here then i will look for coin for this in i'll look for coin go back and i'll pick this i'll drop this here and uh, as well we can uh, discover so here i will search for explore here instead let's see if we can have something close to that explore yeah we don't so we have to make decision from this so i'm going to grab this and just drop this here so we have all the items we need here so let me check the size of this this is actually 24 and uh, each of this is 24 now after confirming the sizes we can just highlight over this icons here if you still check here everything it's 24 
Now click on the three dots here at the top and uh, make sure we're creating multiple components. Now we can just um, drag this somewhere here a little. Then we can look for the home icon, which is this here. That's on our asset tab. Make sure you're here. So I'll just drag this and uh, drop this here. So this is a variant now. So let's create a menu item. I'm going to press letter T on my keyboard and then make sure this is home. And then this, the size is going to be thin, but the font weight is going to be medium. And uh, we can select these two items, shift A to put them in an auto layout. Make sure that these two items are centered and the spacing between them, I'm going to use four. Now we need to change the colors of this item. I'm going to use the success color for the active and uh, I will look for another one for the inactive items here. So this is our first item here. And uh, let's rename this to menu item here. And we can convert this to a component. Once this has been converted to a component, we can quickly just add some properties to this. So double click to select the icon. We can have this and uh, create an instance swap called icon. And then for the home, I'm going to click this, scroll down to where we have the text and uh, click this and this is going to be our title. Now we can just simply add a variant to this. Now select the components and you have a plus sign here. Click this and we have a variant. So now we can come in here where we have the selection color. I'm going to detach this. Since I don't have any color in mind, I'm going to use the eyedropper here and then pick this color here. Now, if you want to use the same color or the same hex for this, this is the hexadecimal code for that. So this doesn't look too bright, but let's see once we add that to a black background, let's see the effects, then we can actually change that. So here, if we select this item here, instead of default, I can see this is active. And uh, for this other one here, I can select that instead of variant two in active here, active here. Then here, I will just change that to state. So let's come into our script section here and uh, add those items. So I'm looking for menu items. So letter M, drag this and uh, drop this here. So we have the home. I can command D to duplicate or control D. So let's select another icon here, which is the swap. So I'll go to icons. So we're looking for swap letter S somewhere at the. So I'm looking for swap. So let's scroll up. I think I found that somewhere here. So I'll select this swap. Now, instead of active, I'm going to change this to inactive. So we might have to play well with the color. So this is going to be swap. So the title, I'm going to change that to swap. Now, Ctrl D to duplicate and uh, I'll do another Ctrl D. So this is going to be earn. Let me zoom in so we can all see. This is going to be earn. And uh, we're going to change the icon here to a coin. So this coin here. And uh, looking at this, this doesn't look well aligned. So we're going to adjust that. So I'll do the same thing here for this. This is our item here. We're going to change that to discover. So we're going to look for the icon here, which is this. So we have these issues here. So let's go back to our main component here. I'm going to double click or let's select this item here and uh, I'll select this as well. So let's look for the width here and uh, we make sure that it's hugging the content. So I'm going to double click to select home as well. So let's use the matching layers here and uh, here we can just see her content. So now if I should come back here, I think we have this water line. So the next thing, let's see. Okay, this has also been fixed. So now we select item one, two, three, and the four. Shift A to put them in an auto layout. So I'm going to just drag this somewhere here and uh, the space in between them, I'm going to use auto for that. So now um, I don't want to use, um, I just won't want to use this as my guide. So I could just center them here and uh, center them towards the bottom here. So now let's try to open this on our mockup. So I'll select this whole shift command and then the space bar or control command then space bar. 
let's just add some little prototyping in such a way that when the user is scrolling and they get to the top here somewhere here we need this to be stuck to the top here so to actually achieve this i'm going to select item one item two here and uh, let's group these two items together item one and two i'm going to right click and then frame these items together then here we can have item one two and then three we can right click and frame them together now let's go to prototype and for this item here i will select this here sticky top here so sticky top so right now i'm going to select the whole of this item let's go back to design and select this so i'm just going to adjust this here a little here and uh we can go back to prototype here so scroll in here that's the overflow so we can say we can have a vertical scroll in so let's try to scroll this item here so because we don't have enough items and uh, we're going to make some adjustment let's just duplicate most of these things here so command d d d and then d so let's try to scroll this you notice that once it gets to a particular section this is stuck but all our items they keep moving so what we're going to do now here is to select this item here and uh, let's right click and uh, let's bring them to back here so now let's try to move this again here you see we have this now and uh, this looks better but there is a big but here now these are item here item one and item two i'm going to right click and uh, frame these items here so we're going to add a background to this so let's go to design here and for our fill i'm going to add that fill and uh, i can right click and uh, let's pick this our background color here so now if i try to scroll here you see it's somehow just disappear and then move underneath this here so now we need to fix this other problem here so to fix this problem i'm going to file here so let's select this item here and uh, let's close this here let's close this as well so we have item one item two and item three so we can try as much as we can try to bring this to the top here and uh, let's see if we scroll now here you see this is underneath this item here but we still have some space in here so to solve that problem we can select this item here i'll go to design what i'll do is to drag this to somewhere here okay so now if i should do that you notice that it's going to close some gaps here so the issue is coming from this section here so if we can just adjust this keep adjusting that and uh, when we push here it's just going to be stuck to the top here so now all this is coming from this tiny spacing here so let's see how this is going to look now if i should do this it's closed so if i push this you see it's when it gets to the top here we have this uh, item stuck here and the user can easily just navigate between these items and when they scroll down we have a full application you scroll up we have this other one here so this is how i will want my trust wallet to actually look because now i have more options here i can check which coin is actually gaining and which coins are actually losing and i can even create a watch list to monitor coins that i want to buy so if you're new to my channel and you want to see more tutorial tips like this please kindly hit the subscribe button so now before we conclude this here I actually made some observation here while playing with this if you look at our text here we can actually make this better so i'll go to the component here and um, instead of having this as regular let's set this to medium so that it's going to match the stroke here and this looks better now and you can actually make some modification and then post this on your portfolio so now before we conclude let's just quickly arrange these items here because they look scattered so the way i do this is i'll create a section here so now i'll just drag this to just have a section and uh, for this uh, logos here i can just drag them and then drop them inside this section
sorry these are icons not logos so let's just increase this i'll do the same thing here for this i'll just drag it and then drop this here so since this ones are selected i'll press shift 8 put them in an auto layout so probably just drag them somewhere here i'll do the same thing for this other icons here i will select them here press shift 8 to put them in an auto layout drag them and uh, arrange them here and uh, let's look for other icons again okay we have this here I want to do the same thing drag this and drop this here and uh, all these are coin here they are also icons press shift a and uh, we can just gather them all inside here because we're running out of time I would have just arranged these things for you here but then let's just know that all of this are inside this section called icons and then for our components you can even create another section for component and uh, I'm going to name this components here so for this I have all this component here let me just select this I'll drag and drop all this inside this item here that's inside this component I'll do the same thing let me drag this home icon so now let me drag this home let's see this I have this icon here again let's just drag that and drop it here so for our other components I can select this two items drag them and then drop them here so now I have a clean section here. I'll do the same thing for these other components. I can just use command X and uh, select this and uh, paste this here. So you can just take your time to just arrange this so that we can have a more cleaner workspace. So this is my design. This is my version of the Trust Wallet and this is the original version. So you can actually play with this and try to modify this especially the colors here at the top which i said i actually don't like but you can actually improve them and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial